Have you ever heard of a glass-lined water heater? Does your water heater really have glass in it? Welcome back to Serving Up Plumbing with me, David Butler. Today, we're gonna to be talking about something you may or may not have heard about. Have you ever heard of glass-lined water heaters? Well, they've been around since water heaters have been around nearly. Way back in the 50s and 40s, I think even maybe further back than that, they were glass lining water heaters. But the technology has improved and improved. So, before we get into that, make sure and hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up if you like these videos, and let me know what you wanna see in the future. Now let's talk about glass lined water heaters. What is a glass lined water heater? Well, believe it or not, almost every water heater tank made is glass lined. Now, does that mean it's a glass liner and then they build a tank around it? No. How do they make a glass liner? Well, it's kind of like your coffee mugs. If you've ever done pottery, you know that you paint glaze on and then you fire it in a kiln and it turns into this shiny coating on your coffee mug. Well, that's kind of the same technology they use to make a glass coating inside a water heater. Well, first of all, why do we need a glass coating inside of a water heater? Well, water heater tanks made out of steel. Now this is only on tank top water heaters that they do this, but it's made out of steel. How do we protect that steel from rusting and corroding? Because water is a solvent, a very good one, and water makes steel corrode and rust out. Once it rusts out, it's going to start leaking. So we've got to protect that somehow. Now they've tried over the years using plastic and other things and trying to inflate a bubble liner in there. Nothing's ever worked as good as good old glass lined water heaters. Now, how in the world do you get glass lining in a water heater? Well, as we said, it's kind of like the coffee mug. What they do is they put a slurry or powder type coating inside the tanks before anything else happens. They make the tank, they weld it all together, they put all the outlets on it and everything that are gonna go for the cold water and the drain and all those good things, your TMP valve. And then they put this powder or slurry in it Sometimes they even rotate it around so that it makes sure and spreads it all over everything, or maybe it's a positive negative charge thing, similar to powder coating paint. Then they run it through a huge oven, and it usually has to go through there for at least an hour or longer. Now, it heats it up to somewhere between 400 and 800 something degrees. Now, once it gets that hot, it bakes that coating on there, and that coating crystallizes and turns to glass. Now, We've got a completely waterproof glass seal on everything inside the tank. Around all of the thread outlets that are on there, where the welds were on the inside of the tank. Theoretically, right when it comes off the line, it is perfect. There's no way that tank can ever rust. Of course, it is glass lining. Now, one of the best glass linings made is called the Blue Diamond Glass Lining that state water heaters manufactures and invented. In fact, even other manufacturers of water heaters use it. This lining is a glass lining, so to speak, but it's also got a little bit of flexibility because on a gas water heater, when you fire up a burner underneath the steel tank, what happens? Expansion and contraction, right? Steel expands when you heat it. And then if you dump cold water back in there from the hot water, it contracts. So you've got this expanding and contracting going on. You can't just have a piece of glass because glass doesn't expand and contract, but the blue diamond lining does. It'll expand and contract with the expansion and contraction of the steel to a certain extent, and that will maintain the glass lining for a much longer period of time. Because we know once the glass lining has cracked or chipped or broken off, now the water's gonna be able to get to the steel tank and it's gonna rust out the water heater, which is what eventually happens to all water heaters. So what is a glass line water heater? It's a baked on glass type coating that's flexible, that expands and contracts with the water heater, and it protects the steel tank from rusting out from the water. Brilliant engineering, right? And it's been around for a long time. It's just constantly improved. So the next time you see glass lined water heater, now you're gonna know what they're talking about. I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been very helpful. And I hope now you know what a glass lined water heater is. Thanks for watching. Please hit that subscribe button. Let me know if you wanna see something in the future and give this one a thumbs up. And tell your friends, the butler did it.